All right, here is the female torso model. Coming up close here. This is the pulmonary trunk becoming the pulmonary arteries. So these are pulmonary arteries. Also can see pulmonary arteries back here. This here is the arch of the aorta. From here to here, there to there is brachiocephalic trunk. From here all the way up to here is the common carotid artery. Common carotid artery then splits into the external carotid artery and the internal carotid artery. So common carotid artery splits to external carotid artery and internal carotid artery. If we go up into the head, Move it. Go up into the head. You can see coming out of the vertebral column is the vertebral artery. The vertebral artery then comes here and becomes the basilar artery, and then up here it is the posterior cerebral artery. So again, vertebral artery, basilar artery, posterior cerebral artery. All right. Up here. All right, back down here. Gets back in focus. Again, there's the common carotid artery. This is the subclavian artery. Come down here, remove the heart. Come on, heart. This red here is the thoracic aorta. So arch of the aorta becomes thoracic aorta. And when it comes down here, it becomes the abdominal aorta. So that middle thick structure is the abdominal aorta. This is the stomach, and on the top of the stomach here is the ga left gastric artery. So that is the left gastric artery on top of the stomach. Here is the liver, bottom of the liver. Put it over here, the bottom of the liver. The red structure here is the common hepatic artery. All right. Over here, this stump right here is the celiac trunk. These are the renal arteries here and here. This is the superior mesenteric artery, that stump there. These are the gonadal arteries here and here, gonadal arteries. Down here, we have the inferior mesenteric trunk. And then at the end of the thoracic uh, abdominal aorta, it splits into the right and left common iliac arteries. These then split into the external iliac artery and way over there, just barely see it, is the internal iliac artery. And then when it gets into the leg, it becomes the femoral artery. All right, back up to the chest. This structure coming out of the heart is the superior vena cava. It splits into the right and left brachiocephalic veins which become the subclavian vein and the external, oops, sorry, internal jugular vein. So this is the internal jugular vein. Um, way up at the top of the head, this up here is the superior sagittal sinus. Superior sagittal sinus. Um, again, internal jugular vein, subclavian vein. All right, going down into the abdominal region. Oh wait, yeah. This is inferior vena cava. So this big, big vein here is inferior vena cava, inferior vena cava, inferior vena cava. We have renal veins. Over at the bottom of the liver, that sort of purplish vein here, that is the hepatic portal vein. Inferior vena cava, hepatic portal vein, common hepatic artery. Then we also have the gonadal veins here and over here. And down here again. Move. No, can't they come together? All right. Uh, we have the common iliac veins. Then they split into the external iliac vein and internal iliac vein. So if I take this piece out, you can see how they split going from. Let me sit it down. Come into focus, come into focus. So again, coming from uh, inferior vena cava to common iliac vein here, right and left. 
and they split into the external iliac vein and see that little stump? Internal iliac vein. And down at the leg, out comes the femoral vein. All right, these little lines here are lymphatic vessels. These are lymph nodes. And up here, that is the spleen. And that is it for this model.